Hi, my name is Louise Siddons, and I'm a caller based in Stillwater, Oklahoma. It's June 2020, and I should be at the Litchfield Folk Festival with you. Instead, I'm in my living room, but that doesn't need to stop us from dancing. Since March, groups around the world have been organizing online events, including Zoom dances. This video is designed to let you dance on your own schedule. I've chosen seven dances, I do walkthroughs of each and then call them to music recorded by musicians here in Oklahoma. The dances are lively and so they're some real exercise if you get into it. And I encourage you to warm up, to stay hydrated throughout and to do some cool down at the end if you do the video all the way through. I've chosen dances that I like for their patterns and texture. And so if you have room, I encourage you to think about skip changing, uh, skipping and thinking about how the dance flows or doesn't in relation to the space. And space matters because we're all dancing in unexpected spaces at the moment. My own is kind of small. And so you'll see that I don't do a skip change and I don't often skip. But when I'm dancing for myself, rather than to demonstrate it to you, I do often dance through the kitchen, uh, around the living room in unexpected shapes so that I can really match my dancing to the exuberance of the music. And I encourage you to have fun and find ways to make your space work for you. The music you'll hear in this video was recorded by some of my favorite musicians, Shanda McDonald, Kathy Dagg, Ashley Green, and Jacob Chen. They play for my local dance in Oklahoma City, and they originally recorded these tunes for our online dances this spring. Jacob organized remote recordings from each band member and put the tracks together. I hope you enjoy listening and dancing with them. If you're new to solo dancing, you might want to watch the video I made with suggestions about how to dance Playford style choreography solo. Here's a quick overview of how it's going to work in this video. I've marked the four positions of a minor set or hands four on my floor. When I dance, I'll be dancing from the top first corner position, which means that for me, up is this way. When you walk through and dance with me, I encourage you to dance as though up is toward your screen so that we move in the same apparent direction. Let's get started. In the walkthrough videos, you'll see my feet because I think it's important to see the pattern rather than seeing my head. My arms aren't really doing much, although if you watch the video that I made about tips for solo ECD dancing, you'll see that I suggested you might use weights or bottles of water to simulate the experience of sharing weight with others in the dance. If you choose to do that, be aware that it is quite strenuous. Sharon Green adapted Cloistered Gardens from Tom Cook's reconstruction of the 1727 dance, Kelstern Gardens. The dance begins with a mirror hay up and down the hall. For a solo dancer, this is a figure eight up and down. Then it's a figure eight across the hall, crossing down to begin. And at home, in time to circle clockwise once around, and cast down one place. Circle clockwise again, all the way, and cast up one place to flow into the mirror hay that starts the dance again. And cross down into a figure eight across. And at home, circle all the way around. Cast down, circle, and cast up. Two notes, and the dance begins with a figure eight down. Figure eight down. Figure eight across. Your home, circle all the way. Cast down, circle again. Cast up, figure eight down. Figure eight across. Circle. 
circle. Cast down, circle again. Cast up, figure eight down. Figure eight across. Circle. Cast down. Circle. Cast up. Figure eight. Across. Circle. Cast. Circle. Cast. Figure it down. Figure eight across. Circle. Cast. Circle. And cast up. Our next dance is Barberini's Tambourine. Barberini's Tambourine is perhaps my favorite dance, published by Walsh in 1740. I've slightly adapted this version for a solo dancer. The first figure will leave you in your corner's place, diagonally across the set. Cast down the outside, dance up through the middle, and loop right down the outside of the set into your corner's place. Now reverse that track. Cast up the outside, dance down through the middle, and loop right up your own side to home. Face across, and fall back a double. Come forward crossing the set and face down, back to back. Face across, back to back. Starting across, four changes of rights and lefts. The music will try to hurry you along, but each change takes the same amount of time. Finish with a two-hand turn until you're home, ready to cast down. And dance up, and loop. Cast up, dance down, and loop. Fall back, cross, back to back along the side, back to back across, four changes, two hand turn, to home. Two notes and the dance begins with a cast down, dance up the middle, and loop into your corner's place. Cast down, dance up the middle, loop around the other side, and reverse, cast up, dance down the middle, and loop to home, fall back, and cross, on the side, back to back, across, back to back, Four changes. Two in turn till you're home. And cast. Up the middle. Around the outside. Reverse. You're home. Fall back and cross. Back to back on the side. 
and across back to back. Four changes. Two hand turn. You're home. Cast down. Dance up the middle. Loop outside. Cast back. Down the middle. You're home. Fall back. Cross. Back to back on the side. Across the set. Back to back. Four changes. Two hand turn till you're home. And cast. Reverse. Fall back and cross. Back to back. And back to back. Four changes. Two hand turn. Cast. Reverse. Cross, back to back, back to back, four changes, two and turn to home. You might be wondering about the images that I'm using. They're all public domain images from the British Museum. I'll have full image credits at the end of the video. Our next dance is Elverton Grove. Published in 1712, Elverton Grove has a wonderful mixture of punctuation and flow. As with Barberini's tambourine, I've adapted it slightly for a solo dancer. Specifically, I alternate dancing from the top first corner position and the bottom second corner, your current neighbor's position. Watch the walkthrough and you'll see what I mean. Turn single over your right shoulder and balance forward and back. Cross the set, loop right to face across to your home place. All of that repeats so you don't really need to stop moving. Turn single, balance, and cross and loop. Dance across the set and cast up around the top to get home. Do that again. Skipping, it's a full figure eight across the set, crossing down to begin. Repeat the figure eight. And end with a cast down into bottom second corner position, your neighbor's place from where you started. The dance begins again, turn single and balance, cross and loop, turn single and balance, cross and loop. Dance across and cast down around the bottom to place. Do that again. Skipping, it's a full figure eight, crossing up to begin. Repeat the figure of eight. And cast up. You'll start again from your original home place. Two notes and then turn single, balance in and out, and cross the set. Turn single and balance. Cross. Leap right to face in. Turn single. Balance. Cross. And loop. 
lead across and cast up to place. Do it again. Pull figure eight down, skipping. And again. Cast down one place. And turn single. Balance. Cross. Loop. Turn single. And balance. Cross. Loop. Lead across and cast down to place. Do it again. Skipping. It's a full figure eight up. Do it again. Cast up. Turn single. Balance. Cross. Face in. Turn single. Balance. Cross. Lead across. Cast up to place. And again. Figure eight down. Again. Cast down. Turn single. Balance. Cross. Face in. Turn single. Cross. Lead across. Cast back to place. And again. Figure eight. As people adapt English dances to solo dancing, they're sometimes taking some entertaining liberties with the choreography. The next dance, the hopscotch, does precisely that, evoking childhood games as well as uh, a very familiar and beloved dance. The hopscotch is a playful reimagining of the 1794 dance The Hop Ground by Katherine Campbell, face down on the diagonal and set twice. Half figure eight down in the direction you're facing and end opposite your home place. Repeat that from this position, set twice and half figure eight down to get home. Lead down the center of the set for four bars, turning to face up. Hopscotch back up, inventing your own pattern of eight hops to end at home. As Catherine says, if you're tired, just walk up. Face across, four changes of rights and lefts. At home, face down the diagonal, and the dance begins again. Set twice and half figure eight. Set and half figure eight. Lead down. And hopscotch home. Face across, four changes.
Facing down on the diagonal, two notes, and then set twice. Set twice. Half figure eight down. Set twice. Half figure eight down. Lead down. Hopscotch home. Face across, four changes. Facing down, set. Again, half figure eight. Set twice. Half figure eight down. Lead down. Hopscotch home. Four changes. Set. Half figure eight. Set. Half figure eight. Lead down. Hopscotch. Four changes. Set. Half figure eight. Set. Half figure eight. Lead down. Hopscotch home. Four changes. This next dance made me realize how much fun solo dancing could be, and I hope that you enjoy it too. The Old Wife Behind the Door is another adaptation by Sharon Green, this time of the 1726 dance, The Old Wife Behind the Fire. It's a sprightly tune, and Sharon's adaptation brilliantly captures the contrast in the original choreography, up and down the hall versus across, and straight lines versus circles, without feeling compelled to replicate it. The dance begins facing up. Set and cast down over your left shoulder. Left shoulder dance around and facing down. Set and cast up over your right shoulder. Dance right shoulder round and end facing across. Four changes, dancing a double. One, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. Stay facing up and go back to back. In the same direction, Dance up a double and fall back. The dance starts again. Set and cast. And left shoulder round to face down. Set and cast up. Right shoulder round to face across. Four changes, dancing a double on each side. And here's a variation from Sharon. Dance up a double and dance up a double again. Which variation do you prefer? Facing up, we'll have two notes and then set and cast down. Set and cast. Left shoulder round. 
face down, set and cast up. Right shoulder round. Face across, four changes. Face up, back to back. Up a double. Fall back. Set and cast down. Left shoulder, dance round. Face down. Set. Cast up. Right shoulder round. Face across. Four changes. Face up. Back to back. And up a double. Fall back. Set. And cast down. Left shoulder round. Face down. Set. Cast up. Right shoulder round. Four changes. Back to back. And up a double. Set. Cast down. Left shoulder, dance around. Face down and set. Cast up. Right shoulder round. Four changes. Back to back. Up a double. Face down, set, cast up, right shoulder, four changes, back to back, up the double. It's been interesting to discover which figures work well for solo dancing. This next dance has some of them, up a double, for example, but I think that I love it because I started dancing in California and the title Mendocino Redwood reminds me of those days. Mendocino Redwood was written in 2005 by Mary Devlin, Bob Fraley, and Elizabeth Zeckley. The tune, Woodland's Walk, is by Jonathan Jensen. I've adapted this dance for a solo dancer. I'm especially fond of dances with a lot of texture. In this case, we get it in the shift from walking to skipping, as well as in several particularly rewarding changes of direction and momentum. As in the previous dance, we begin facing up. Up a double and fall back. Half figure eight up to end across from home facing down. Down a double and fall back. Half figure eight down, end at home. But don't stop, skipping, it's a right hand star. And a left hand star back. You're home, face down on a diagonal, cross down with a double, and immediately cross back. Two hand turn once around, and end facing up to begin again. Up a double. Half figure eight. Down a double. Half figure eight. Right hand star. Left hands back. On the diagonal, change down and back. Two hand turn and face up. Facing up, we'll have two notes and then it's up a double and fall back. Up a double. Now figure it out. Face 
face down, down a double. Fall back. Half figure eight. Right hand star. Left hands back. On the diagonal, change. Change back. Two hand turn. Face up. Up a double. Half figure eight up. Face down. Down a double. Half figure eight down. Right hand star. Left hands back. On the diagonal, change. Change back. Two hand turn. Face up. Up a double. Half figure eight up. Face down. Down a double. Half figure eight down. Right hand star. Left hand back. On the diagonal, change. And back. Two hand turn. Up a double. Half figure eight. Down double. Half figure eight down. Right hand star. Left hand back. On the diagonal, change. And back. Two hand turn. Up a double. Half figure eight. Down a double. Half figure eight. Right hand star. Left hand back. Diagonal change. And back. Two hand turn. We've arrived at the last dance of the video. It's in triple time. Waltz time dances often focus on partnering and have a romantic quality that is maybe not ideal for solo dancing. But when Laura's free, Sharon's adaptation of Orly Krasner's dance is a really beautiful solo dance in its own right. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Orly Krasner published When Laura Smiles in CDSS News in 2000. Sharon Green titled her solo adaptation, When Laura's Free. This is the last dance of this video, and it's in triple time. You'll see that I've adapted my dancing to my small space, in some cases taking just one step per measure. The 1601 tune by Philip Rossiter encourages careful attention to space, pattern, and timing, and is a gorgeous way to end a dance. Begin facing down. Remembering we're in triple time, lead down a double and back up turning single out at home to face up. Lead up and down, turn single out to face across. Two changes of a circular hay across and down. Across the set, right shoulder round, and then back to back. Cross up to home, curving left to face down. The dance begins again, lead down and up, turning single out, lead up and down, turn single out, two changes across and down, across the set, right shoulder round, back to back, and cross up to home, turning left to face down. 
facing down, two notes of music, and then lead down and lead back up. Lead down. And lead back. Turn single out. Face up. Lead up. And back. Turn single out. Face across. Two changes. Right shoulder round across the set. Back to back. Cross up to place. Loop left. Lead down. And lead back. Turn single out to face up. Lead up. And back. Turn single out. Two changes across. And below. Right shoulder round across. Back to back. Cross up to place, loop left, lead down, and lead back, turn single out, face up, lead up, and back, turn single out, face across, two changes, right shoulder round, back to back. up, lead down, turn single out, lead up, turn single out, two changes, right shoulder round, back to back. up to place, lead down, turn single out, lead up, turn single out, two changes, right shoulder round, back to back. Thank you so much for dancing with me, and I'm sorry that we couldn't dance together in person. I hope that you've been enjoying the other offerings from the Litchfield Folk Festival 2020, and I look forward to seeing you in the UK next spring.